Tis the season for gift giving. I'm so excited to finally share with you everything that I got my family for Christmas. Ooh! I'm not sure if I went completely overboard or if I just have a lot of kids. But either way, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna try to show it to you as quickly and efficiently as I can. I store them in our garage totes. It's so great, the kids are none the wiser. <laughs> so I have five kids, ages, oh, they just all aged up. One, four, seven, 10, 13. A wide range of toys and gizmos and gadgets, treasures galore, but we always try to do a family gift. So this year I was really excited so it's hard to find a gift that will please a wide variety of ages and interests, but I finally did it. I found one. But this year we gifted them Just Dance, and huge thanks to Just Dance for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. I was thrilled about this. I feel like the decision was kind of made for me as to what to give my kids collectively as a gift because we try to do that and each year it's becoming more difficult to find something that will please the masses and Just Dance did just that. It is a super fun dance game that we use with our Nintendo Switch. It uses like that crazy motion sensor technology to tell like what kind of dance moves you're doing and if you are matching the person on screen showing you what dance moves do. It's so much fun if you've never played it before. It's a great game for beginners, for experts. It's so much fun. It will bring so many smiles to your faces when you're playing. And the best part about it is the songs. It's like the biggest hits. It's also the number one music game franchise of all time with over 10 titles released on a wide range of platforms over the years. The franchise has reached 135 plus million players and has more than 500 unique choreographies. So there's 40 new songs and universes, year round content to enjoy. You can get a free trial for Just Dance. I really think it would be the perfect gift to give this holiday season for not only your family, but if you're looking to gift someone else. It would be great for parties, great for get togethers, great for if you're alone and just wanna move your body or you have nothing else to do and you're bored and you wanna throw Just Dance on. It would be so much fun. It's also obviously family friendly, brings the whole family together. And lucky for us, Just Dance 2024 edition is out for us to enjoy on the Nintendo Switch. It, you can also use it on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S. I'll insert some clips of my kids playing the games and when I tell you we had so much fun doing this, the kids were moving. It is obviously so great to get the kids up and moving. Not only like are they sitting down playing a game enjoying themselves, but it's also, you know, getting their blood flowing in their body, getting them up and moving and exercising and they're having so much fun doing it and learning the choreography. My kids absolutely enjoy it. I enjoy it even though I'm not a great dancer. <laughs> Learning choreography, my husband. I wonder how many times we're gonna have to play before we get the choreography down pat to be able to be pro. I love the array of songs that they have to offer and they also um, have it where we can play a multiplayer. And that's important for us because we have a large family. It's just super fun. It's a great way to entertain. It's a great way to have fun. So I would encourage you to check them out. My link will be in the description box below if you're interested in buying Just Dance 2024 edition. So before we decided on getting them Just Dance for Christmas, I bought them this from Costco. And it is so exciting. But I figured, you know who would love this the most? Really just the three littler kids. Eleanor might dabble on it and do some stuff with her friends. Avelina might lounge around on it, but she's certainly not going to play with it as a 13 year old, the same way that a one year old and seven year old would. So I'm not sure how we're gonna give this to them if we're like, oh, that's your family guy. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but it's really, really cool. Your Gami, that's the brand, and they have a few different options. This is the one that was at Costco. Same price as it is on their website, which is really nice. You can watch the magic unfold. It's a kid's play fort, and they have pop-out play shapes, handles for easy building, machine washable zip covers. So it's essentially just a bunch of shapes that you can contort and build your own things with. 
climb over them, build some obstacle courses, build a secret passageway. Whatever your kids wanna do, let their imagination run wild. I love that this is kind of like an open-ended gift where it's not just something that they're going to play with for like 15 minutes and then be over it. Like this is going to be in my house for years. Taking space upstairs in the playroom, I am so grateful to have a playroom that is out of sight, out of mind. They go up there, they have a party up there, every day's a party with them, have so much fun, and I don't have to visually look at it all of the time, so I love it, and I just know that they're going to have a field day with that. All right, first tote, I didn't label the totes, so I'm not sure who is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Oh, okay, super exciting. This is actually my oldest, so it works out. We're starting oldest, maybe we'll go to youngest. I don't know how it'll work out. As I was organizing the things that I bought into totes, oh my, Alex was like, wait, that's all that's in Avelina's tote? <laughs> because really it's not that much. One, two, three, five-ish things, which honestly, she would be happy with. Our kids are super grateful for what they get most of the time. But what he didn't realize is that I bought her a few things off of Amazon too. And there are really just a few things in here anyway. One of them is really big. And then of course there's stocking stuffers that I'll share in a future video. I shared what I got myself for Christmas in a previous video. I'll also share what I got my husband and all kinds of hauls happening. This is our 13 year old daughter. She has been a teenager for five years now. <laughs> but also, gosh, it's just so fun. She is her own personality. She goes to the beat of her own drum, very similar to how I was when I was growing up. She like didn't really care about certain things and just did her own thing and whatever. So she has very specific interests. One of those things, and she is like the coolest kid I feel like my kids are the coolest kids that I know. I'm just saying, I'm not biased at all. She's really into Spider-Man, which have you seen the newest? I don't even know if it's the newest. We sat down movie night the other night. We turned on Spider-Man. We took a break from the Christmas movies and oh my gosh, it was the first time I saw, well, first we were watching the Tobey Maguire one and then we, it stopped, it ended and then we turned on a different one with the other guy. I don't even know his name. Fantastic, it was so good. It really drew me in, but also I realized, oh, this is not why I watch fantasy. I was like, all of that was fake? Like all of that, I just, everything that I just learned, I had to like unlearn in a matter of two minutes and I just couldn't, my brain. Anyway, she's really into Spider-Man. She has a lot of Spider-Man stuff and she wanted this like pillow. This is from Target, a cuddles pillow. I don't know. It's, I guess it's kind of weighted or something. Oh. I also grabbed her some of these fluffy socks. These were from the thrift store, but brand new with tags. She loves socks like these to just lounge around in. Ooh, speaking of, okay, well, I got her, hold on, more stuff from TJ Maxx that's in a bag right there. This, she's really into perfumes, which I have a lot of feelings about, but this is her thing right now, that's fine. This one is sweet like honey, come on, come on. Karma, anyone? It's sweet like candy. This is from Ariana Grande. She's trying to make like a perfume display and I thought, um, I was at TJ Maxx, this will be a sibling gift to her. Uh, we were shopping together, picking out sibling gifts because they give each other one gift and this is something for her too. It's another perfume, Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Apparently she's taken over the perfume stage. She is the Britney Spears of our time. Is she though? Hey, you know what else I found for her? These! I wish they were in my size. You can't even tell how magical they are. Are you joking? You can't tell. We were in the store, she put these on, she started prancing around and I was like, you have to have these. These are so amazing and magical and also super expensive, but TJ Maxx always has a discounted price. Cowboy boots, she's been wearing them since she was literally one year old. They have been her go-to shoe of choice and these are just, I mean, Taylor Swift, who? I also got her, well, I thought this was a volleyball, but I'm pretty sure it was a soccer ball, which kind of works out because she plays both sports. And then she's really into skincare and stuff. So some skincare items I'm putting in her stocking. Some I'm just wrapping and giving as gifts. It, uh, the way I divvy them up makes no sense, rhyme or reason. But for the ones that I'm going to wrap up are just a couple from Bubble, Bobble, whatever it's called, Bubble, I think. Bubble Skincare. She has like the whole line of this, but she's missing these two items. This is 
well three there's like a mask but i think she's allergic to one of the ingredients so i got her the vitamin c serum and then the anti acne stick or knockout acne spot treatment and this is some daydream vitamin c tone and texture because she definitely needs that at 13 years old <laughs> i figured if she starts now she'll look 13 for the next 20 years if only someone told me to do that kids these days they're really learning everything at a young age. Pros and cons. Hey, do you remember having a thermos like this? If you're a millennial like myself, I bet you had one of these. Personally, mine was Barbie. This one, she's really into peanuts. I don't know if it's ironically or what. She has a couple peanuts things. She's got like SpongeBob. I don't know, but I do know, I saw this at the thrift store. It was $1 and I was like, she's either gonna love it and use it or just display it, or maybe she'll hate it, but for a dollar, it's worth finding out. Also from the thrift store, I got her a bunch of stuff from Amazon, but obviously I love to shop secondhand. It's a great place to find really affordable gifts for people and unique items too, because I always like to find unique things for them that I think they're going to enjoy. So she's been looking for a tea party set, which you might think, wait, she's 13. What is happening here? Listen, it's fun. Let her be a kid. Also tea party set. Yes, please. Am I invited? So I found this one, which is super fun florally it's 23 pieces it's bunnies in the garden and this even secondhand selling online is going for buco bucks i snagged it for 10 bucks and i couldn't be happier sad to report the hats are not included but everything you see here is and i just think she's gonna have a field day with it it might be too frilly thrilly for her but for 10 bucks it's worth finding out and i honestly think that she's going to love it like unironically she can have a tea party with all her siblings she can, but will she? <laughs> okay, and then from Amazon, I got her some Nike socks. This is a bulk set. There are six pairs in here. They're like the high top ones because that's all the rage. Last year, I didn't get her any socks for Christmas and she said she was so disappointed because she was actually looking forward to getting socks. And honestly, Nike socks are a pretty penny. I wanna say these were around $30. <laughs> for socks just because they have a Nike check on them. It's all about fashion, you know. And then I think this is what she put on her list. She had an app that I downloaded that we that she could like share with people. And it's more like a registry, but I wish similar to a registry, you would be able to see if the item was bought or not. Not that like more people than me are buying from it, but sometimes I lost track of what I was buying anyway a bedazzler set was on there and i'm pretty sure this was it rhinestones galore bedazzle all the things and she's been asking for something like that for a while you know what else a unique item speaking of these babies <laughs> these little babies you'd be surprised another very well open-ended gift it's a lot of the things that I like to get are just open-ended gifts, right? So this is one of those things where she is so creative. It blows my mind the things that she comes up with with these little baby dolls. She'll make like, I don't even, just the possibilities are endless. When we went to the beach house this summer, she like laid them outside of people's doors and like, will you, will you watch my baby or just random things like that. I should have her explain it because it's actually hilarious the things that she comes up with she'll make like an office for them or uh she made one time a basketball court for them oh my gosh it's so great okay i also this is one of my favorite scents but i would never buy it for myself but for my kids absolutely it is the i don't i actually don't remember rio del Janeiro, something like that sol janeiro sol de Niro. i don't robert de niro i am the worst but you know what? I'm gonna smell real good. She's gonna be like, mom, you smell so good. What is that? And be like, I use some of your perfume. <laughs> Got in my eye. Oh, a little much. No one will know I opened it. It's still sealed. <laughs> She's been asking for this for a while too. And it's just, it's expensive. So it's more, I know some people just pick it up for their kid on a Sunday afternoon. But for me, I'm like, this is a birthday gift or a Christmas gift. You're welcome. Call me Santa Claus. Also, it does smell really good. They have the bum bum cream for years and years. My sister used to have that and I would smell it. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, it smells so good, but I'm not spending like however much it costs, you know? Something else that she had on her Christmas list. Don't ask me about it. I'm sure she has an idea up her sleeve with what she's going to do with this is what would Jesus do? <laughs> Bracelets, <laughs> a whole pack of them. And I'm just like, 
I'll just sit back and wait and watch what she does. I'm always proud of her. She's so creative. She's so funny. She's so talented. She's so smart. So, so, so. I know she's my kid, but like, she's amazing. Okay, and then in here, I don't want to take it out because that would be annoying. I got her a mini fridge type of situation. What's it called? Skincare fridge these days is what they call it. Skincare fridge. It's kind of unreal. These are so expensive. I tried to find one secondhand, but she's pretty particular with the colors of things that she's wanting. So I guess she picked out white. This one was on her list. I said I wasn't going to take it out, but here I am. Yeah, I'm still not going to take it out. I'm just going to wrap it like this. And she's happy as a pie. A pig in mud when she opens it. Last thing for my 13 year old is a bulletin board. Pretty small if you ask me. So when I redid their rooms, uh, my girls' rooms, I made a huge bulletin board for Eleanor and Avelina was like, hey, where's mine? I was like, hey, you don't have wall space because you have posters literally everywhere. So I didn't ever made her one. And so she asked for that one. I, I was like, that's good enough for me. Cool, cool, cool. Moving on. I feel like we're flying through this. Second child, this is Eleanor. She is 10 years old. I'm, I was joking, by the way, we're probably 20 minutes into this video and one kid down. Okay, she is my artist. She is my frilly, thrilly gal. She is into dance, although I didn't really get her anything dancey. Skincare, ah, she's a basic preteen, double digits, flying high kind of gal. All right, what did we get, Miss Meredith? Eleanor. Did I say Meredith? I'm sorry. I can't get my crap together. Okay, she paints in her room. Love-hate relationship. I love that I'm cultivating an artist. I love that she is so talented at painting. Um, I hate the mess that it makes, but we're willing to just close the door and put our blinders on, right? So she put this on her wish list, and it's a pottery studio wheel, like a pottery wheel. What's funny about this is I had two of these I bought on clearance, I don't know, probably eight years ago. So she was way too young to enjoy them, obviously two years old. And I bought two of them. I thought my kids were too young. We'll save them for later. We ended up donating them through our like no mercy decluttering journey in our garage like one day. I don't know. So we donated them. So whoever picked those up really got a screaming deal there. But this it reminded me i was like this, this was so expensive i was like i wish this is why i shouldn't declutter anything right but this is one of her gifts i think she's really going to enjoy it mostly because it was on her list of things that she wanted you know what else she wanted a hairspray bottle with like a nice little mister i don't really know what she's gonna do with this we're gonna find out staying on that artist trend she asked for a huge thing of white paint white is the color that she goes through the most normally we go to hobby lobby and get the little paints they're acrylic paints they're usually the most affordable especially when you can find them on a sale but um, in a huge bottle like this they don't normally go on sale very often and then here are some i don't actually know what these are i think they're pens something i don't know the way that we do our christmas list is that she's able to link specific items and i'm like all right that is perfect <laughs> I don't have to like sift through and find things. It works out really well. But also, I don't really, really know what some of this stuff is. So this is last dipped fountain pen set. Okay, I think this is a calligraphy pen set. And if anyone could do calligraphy, it is certainly Eleanor because she has that type of skill. She is amazing, just like my first. He also asked for these posca markers paint markers i'm not really sure i think i accidentally got two of these uh that's what it looks like i'm gonna have to go back on my amazon orders and see if i clicked two or if they just accidentally sent me a new one because if not this is going straight back to spamazon uh, she also asked for a brush cleaner and toner for her paint brushes and then she's so fancy she asked for a cutesy little pajama set she is that girl. She like comes out of the shower with a robe. I'm like, I could never. She is like the woman that I wish I was. <laughs> but it's a pink pajama set. It's short sleeve, it's short shorts. Not too short short, but you know what I mean. It's not like pants or anything because we live in Florida, so it's really nice. And then she asked for a necklace, if you can see that in there. First of all, I love how this is packaged. 
and it's an E necklace. And I think that she's gonna really love that. Don't just, don't look at my fingernails, okay? And then I got her this art dice. I thought this would be really great. This might go in her stocking. I separated their stocking stuff, so I don't know. I'll see if she has, I'm sure she has plenty. It's always more fun to unwrap gifts, right? So these are art dice. I guess they don't show any pictures on the thing. Picked for artists, teachers, novices, art students, rainy days, or gifting. Wow. So I'll put something on the screen here so you can kind of see what the dice includes. And then she wanted an E. This lights up. Um, that's just like a throwaway gift for me. She's gonna have a lot of shelving in her new room, so we gotta put something up there. And then don't ask me what this is, a stationary set or something? It's got like sticky pads here, some writing pads, and then a carrying case. She's into like the Hello Kitty brand. I forgot the name of it. it, starts with an S something, but she's really into that. And then I picked up some stuff for her from the thrift store too. I also got her a skincare fridge, which is essentially just a mini fridge, I feel like. It's the same thing. I don't know what's the difference, you tell me. I'm not really sure, but this was $20, even from the thrift store, but brand new, they go for like 50. I think the cheapest I found is really like, even 35 bucks or something. So I was happy to find this one. Hopefully it works. It looks like it works. I feel like I've never bought anything that didn't work from this specific thrift store. And of course, skincare items, you guys, because my kids are wild and crazy. Actually, okay. First of all, this is the bubble exfoliating mask. So she's super into everything. When she has sleepovers and stuff, they are doing all the skincare, they're doing the masks, they're doing everything fun. And then I found this, oh my gosh, bringing me back to like my middle school days where we just put glitter all over ourselves and be careful if you're bumping into your crush in the middle of the hallway and get glitter all over them. <laughs> Sorry, you know, like body glitter galore. I'm gonna put some of this on my arm because I'm not gonna lie, I did test it out in the store. I think she's just gonna have so much fun with this. Like why not wear glitter everywhere? It's not really showing up on camera, I feel like, but it is nice. Like a subtle shimmer. Exactly what you would want. So she's also really into hair clips. So I found this set, it was buy three, get a $10 gift card from Target and this cost $10. So it was basically buy two, get one free. And so I got three sets of these, not all for her, but I'm giving her this set of hair clips. And she's gonna love it. She's got hair and she needs to clip it up sometimes. I also found this from the thrift store. It was like $1.50. She's really into baking and she likes baking with me. She likes going through the recipes. She'll also, when she has friends over, they bake together, they make things together. So I thought this would be a fun gift for her to go through and like recreate some of the things in here. And then of course, she's been asking for one of these. It's like a shampoo massager when you're in the shower. I don't know, something about this kind of creeps me out. Like, is my hair gonna get all knotted in there? I bought this for multiple people, but I've yet to buy it for myself. So let me know if you have one and if you love it. I also snagged this from the thrift store. This was $2. What? She is an artist, glitter everywhere. She's super into glitter, all things glam, all things sequins. And these are Martha Stewart. There's like a ton of glitter sticks in there. And I was like, yes, for two bucks, like you can't, what a screaming deal. Brand new, these go for like $20. Even if those bottles are halfway full, I don't care. And they don't even look halfway. They look like they're super duper full. So she's going to love that. Ooh, another scrunchie set for her. And this has scrunchies and hair clips and stuff too. I think that's just like a great universal gift that they'll use over and over and over again. And then I found some of these socks. They scream Eleanor, just joy and happiness. Oh my heck, have you seen this shampoo I, or conditioner? I only got the conditioner because, can I tell you that this cost $10? It is smaller than my finger. <laughs> I haven't even sniffed it, maybe I did. It better be like the best conditioner she's ever used in her entire life. This brand, Olaplex, I have seen it going around like Instagram, so I don't know the best conditioner ever created. I can't imagine it is, but I was not about to shell out the money for a full size, so she better use that sparingly, okay? 
And then I found, oh, this was another great one at the thrift store. Great place to get books. This was $1.50 as well. And it just has a ton of craft ideas in here. And again, when she has friends over, if she's like bored looking for something to do, great open-ended gift. Just grab this book, pop it open, see if we have the supplies to make whatever is in here. And it looks like it's a bunch of paper crafts. So we have a ton of construction paper for her enjoyment. And then also, of course, the hand sanitizer that costs an arm and a leg, but for some reason is way superior than any other hand sanitizer known to man. This is a gift from a sibling to Eleanor and it is a magic mixings. This is one of the only toys. I feel like she's drifting away from toys in a sense. Like I guess art is still a toy, but this is like one of the only tangible like toy things that she's getting. What's in here? Oh my gosh. She's really into this thing too. I forgot what it's called. I don't really know, but it's the same brand as Hello Kitty. This, I don't know how, Scon I don't know how to pronounce it. Santo? Sanio? San, something like that. What, the worst part about this is I was sponsored by this brand two years ago. <laughs> but it was just like, all I had to say was Hello Kitty. I love Hello Kitty. I think it's great. My kids love this too. And then I was lucky enough, okay, on her Christmas list, she put, she wanted a wall hanging thing. Listen, they're expensive. And I was like, okay, so I didn't get it for her. Obviously, I'm not gonna get everything on their Christmas list because uh, it's seven pages long. Not really, but you understand my dramatics. Anyway, I found this while I was at the thrift store and it was $5. And I pulled it up. I was like, yes, that is perfect. It's obviously like tied, so I can't undo it all the way. But this is what it would look like on her wall. And I feel like that's the vibe she's going for. It's perfect. The one on her Christmas list, there's also a ball in here. I got the kids I like a bunch of balls. If all else fails, get your kids balls. They'll literally play with them. Like just go outside and they'll throw them. They'll kick them. They'll play games with them. Kickball, dodgeball, all the balls, all the games outside. Best place to play. <laughs> Anyway, hers that she wanted had like pink on it, but I think she'll be thrilled with that too. So that's everything that I got, Eleanor, which is a lot. So if you're looking for gift ideas for the artist in your life, I hope that helped you out. Next up is Wentworth. He is our seven year old. Boy, oh boy, did I have a hard time finding stuff for him. He is so interested in everything like outdoors and being physical and sports and just literally running around climbing things. He's happy as all get out. I don't know a good analogy. <laughs> it was hard for me finding stuff. And then when I realized, oh my gosh, I have like close to nothing for Wentworth. I went out shopping, like physical shopping. And I ended up buying like the most items for him. <laughs> so let's see. I kind of forgot what I got him. Okay, I got some things from the thrift store. Obviously, that is a given. And then I also got him some newer things. One of the bigger gifts that we got him is a soccer goal. And I feel like the Yorgami Kids Play For is mostly for him and that's a really expensive gift. So he's going to enjoy that more than anyone else. First, I got him, I found something at Marshall's. It's like a kitty goal. It's only two feet tall. Wentworth is a big kid. He plays big kid soccer. He loves soccer. So I figured having a goal in the backyard, they play soccer all the time, but just without the goals, we have lines in our grass. Like we put cones out for them to like show where a goal would be. But I think having this will really be beneficial to him. So I just bought, I think, where did I find this? I want to say TJ Maxx, but there's no sticker on it. Oh, Target? Maybe Target. I don't know, maybe Amazon. But it's basically just a big kid goal. I think it's six foot, oh, six and a half foot. And it's fiberglass soccer goal. It's like big, big kid stuff, you know? And along with that notion, a soccer ball. They can all play together. Um, one of the best places, not the best place, it's actually one of the worst places to get soccer balls and balls, basketballs, volleyballs, is five below. They are affordable. But they don't last long. So I'm gonna see how long this one lasts in comparison because this is from Target and I, I just like the colors. I think they'll enjoy the colors. All the kids will play soccer together so it's not just for him. Again, a ball, endless possibilities. Okay, so while I was at Target, I kind of went ham with Wentworth. I bought, my cart was just full of Wentworth things. So he is into Pokemon. Oh, that's one gift that I didn't get him yet. Maybe I'll order it. 
I'll get it for his birthday or whatever. All of my kids, which is another challenging part of this time of year, which obviously is not about the gifts, but the gifts sure do make it fun and interesting. Like Jesus got three gifts. Okay, my kids are getting way more than they should. But anyway, all of their birthdays are in this season, November, December, except for Wolfgang, his is September, but close enough where they're bombarded with so many things I try. Like some of you might look at this and say, oh, that's all you got that? And some might look at this and be like, oh my gosh, that is so much. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle where I do get them a lot, but it's not like crazy amount and it's not scarce. So I try to always live my life right here in the middle. I'm on the borderline. Anyway, he's really into Pokemon. I did not get him a Pokemon card holder, which he's been asking for. I feel like I added it to cart, but just saved it for later on one of those occasions, you know? But I did find this. It's a trainer guess. I actually don't know what this does, but it is a thing and it's Pokemon. I don't know a lot about Pokemon. I have a lot to learn. And then I found this, oh my gosh, in like that section of Target where it's like the steam toys. My favorite section to look at toys for, but they can be really pricey. Like this was pretty pricey, but I feel like it's going to be fantastic. It is a three doodler start plus. It's an essentials pen set and it's basically like a 3D printer, I wanna say, like ages six to 13. So perfect age for him. He's on the lower end of that. And of course, ages 13 and up would probably have fun with this too. This is just a suggestion, I feel like. This comes with 10 activities, 72 strands to fill, and so it's a 3D doodler pen. I don't know. I was really impressed by this. I thought it was super awesome. So I'm excited to see the things that he makes with that. We had an ornament decorating party yesterday. He sat there for an hour with those, you know, those things, it has like plastic beads and then you iron it and it makes something. We bought like sketches to like put under the, I'm not making any sense. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at, short story long, is he sat there for an hour putting all the beads in, making his thing. So I really think like he's our focused guy sometimes. So I think he'll be able to do that. He's gonna have a lot of fun with that. I also found this was in the steam section as well. And it is, oh wait, no, this was from Marshalls. Yeah. Okay, $13, but anywhere else it would be three bucks, which is kind of wild. It's the Discovery, and I actually don't know what this is, I forgot. A DIY science kit, test tube activity set. What's he testing out here? Just life. Oh, he can make, perform three different scientific studies. Jelly crystals, disappearing ink, one of their favorite things, and I got something for their stocking stuffers. I have so many awesome ideas for stocking stuffers, so I'm excited about that. So I'll link that video below. It might be up by now. And then a Super Bowl. So I think that'll be great for him and his little learning brain and stuff. And then I got him this little Pokeball. I think there's something inside of that. And he is needing, he's super into Ninja Turtles, which by the way, have you seen the 90s version of Ninja Turtles? We watched it the other day. They say a bad word in it and now Wentworth says it like to be funny and we're like, Wentworth, like you gotta cut that out, dude. But low key, it's like pretty funny when he says it. Anyway, this is a new laundry basket for him. I don't know what he's gonna put in there. All of his like costumes and stuff because he has a ton of costumes. He is seven and he is a boy and he loves dressing up in costumes. So that would be a great gift too, but he has so many, so I'm not getting in any for him. I actually found this at the thrift store for $5. They are, again, Nike socks and there are three pair in here for five bucks. You cannot, that's not a deal. That is a steal, my friend. So silver, blue, and red Nike checks. Oh no, are those pink? Good enough, he loves pink too. You never know the things you're gonna find at the thrift store. And then I found these at the thrift store as well. They were either $1.50 or $3 and they're just pajama pants, but they have like the Marvel characters on it. And he's all about that Marvel life right now. I found these at Marshall's for $5. They are slippers. And who doesn't love a good pair of slippers? I feel like he usually gets a pair. I think last year was the Grinch or something. And then the bigger girls normally get like the fluffy socks. I also found this at the thrift store. Does he love to read? It doesn't matter, he does it. <laughs> so we're constantly looking for new books to read. This is the whole Marvel set. I found at the thrift store for $8 and I could not contain my excitement. So I'm really excited for him to indulge in those books because he's really into the movies and stuff. So 
I also found this. This is a towel. Obviously, it's Ninja Turtles. It's like one of those hooded towels. And he doesn't have like a fun, exciting towel. And I feel like when my older two were smaller, his age, I often forget how young he is because he seems so mature. The way that he acts, the way that he talks, the way like he's bigger, I often forget how little he is. So when my older two were younger, his age, they had fun towels like this and he doesn't. And I was like, am I stealing his childhood? Like am I, I need to make it more magical, right? So I just thought he would really enjoy this. And he obviously loves the Ninja Turtles. I think this is Leonardo. I think it's his favorite. I could be wrong. What day is it, right? Oh my gosh. And then I found these at the thrift store, which technically doesn't have to be a Christmas gift, but it's like, is it December? And am I buying you something? Then it's going under the tree. <laughs> so this is this was $6 for a set of shin guards. Shin guards. Brand new. I don't know how much these are brand new, but I haven't looked it up. They're from Dick's Sporting Goods. They're youth shin guards. So I'm going to put a comparison right here and then we'll decide together if it was worth it or not. I feel like it was. I also found these for him. They were $2 for walkie talkies. How much fun are your kids gonna have with walkie talkies? You go on this side of the house, you go on that side, you go in the backyard, you go in the front yard. I don't know the distance of these, but normally they're pretty good. I looked at these on Amazon. I wanna say they were like 20, $30, somewhere around that price range at the thrift store it was two dollars like are you joking yes please the kids are gonna have so much fun with this and you know when the when he has friends over too i also found this at the thrift store it is uh, to those twistable crayons but they're full size what and it's the carrying case for them so it comes with the crayons and the case and it was three dollars at the thrift store i thought this was such a screaming deal i also found this which kind of isn't a gift for him but I thought he would like it. And it's a thermos for his lunchbox. <laughs> and it's Spider-Man. I saw this and thought it was right up his alley. This is from Marshalls for $15. It's a bow and arrow set. What's great about this is when he has those blasters, there's like 20 blasters and he just everywhere. And then I'm picking up blasters forever. The good thing about this, you have a target, you set it up, pew, pew. There's like three and then you go pick them off. You know what I mean? It's like an archery set. Is that what this is? It is an archery set. I thought this was great. It comes with a target and I was like, this is actually perfection. Much rather get in this than another blaster with a um, hundred Nerf blast darts. And then I got him this. I think I have something for him in my closet, but oh, that'll be fun for us to not show you. I found this at the thrift store. It was $2. I just, I don't even know if this game is fun. I was actually checking out and the guy next to me checking out looked over and he was like, that looks like a fun game without knowing anything about it. Just because it says fart. I was like, I, I have to, I know Wentworth is going to love this. It's right up his alley. Who to fast flatulent fun. That's all you need to know. And then at the thrift store, I also found this scream and deal. I know a lot of these things for Wentworth are thrifted, but it's the perfect place to shop because he's not gonna have these things forever and it doesn't matter if it's new or used. Like, look at these, three, two Ninja Turtles and a Hulk for $5. How much are these pieces of crap brand new at the store? I'm gonna guess way more than $5, you know what I mean? So I think he's going to enjoy these action figures. And then last thing, something smells really good and it's this. <laughs> I was going to, I actually bought um, spray to sanitize it like uh, like Lysol kind of spray kind of stuff, but smelling it I'm like this smells better than anything in my house I want to live in whosoever house this is from <laughs> but um, Wentworth has a monkey like this He has a couple things like this. How is he gonna see out of it? I can't even see out of it This he this is the kind of stuff. He enjoys just running around with Batman head on with a monkey, he's got a monkey head like this. And I think he has one other thing, but anyway, that is everything that I got for Wentworth, my seven-year-old. Up next is Meredith. Woo, I feel like when I started buying, I, you know, hold on. I see this out of the corner of my eye and this is for Wentworth too. And it's the Step Into Reading books. Great for like on his own reading. And there are a lot of like, Avengers books in here 
Ant-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, Falcon, that kind of thing. And I was like, this is right up his alley. I feel like, I don't know what I was gonna say. I feel like this is a lot of toys. But when you look at it like one person by one person, it's like, it's a tote full, you know? Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I started shopping early. And when I do that, I find that I tend to like, forget what I buy and then don't buy for one person. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel a lot of feelings. This is for Meredith. She is four years old. She just turned four. And she is in love with princesses. One day I took her to TJ Maxx with me because sister has dance and then we hang out at TJ Maxx. And she was like, oh, I love this. I, obviously she picks up everything, loves everything. She really loves the adorables. I got her adorable advent calendar every day where you like take a piece out. It's just like those little Disney figurines. Loves them. She has so much fun with those. But this she picked out and she was like, I love this set. She loves Belle. Uh, and it's a tea party set and uh, we're gonna have a nice little tea party there. You know what else she picked out herself? I obviously went back and got it a different day so she doesn't know, it'll be a surprise for her. Jake the Rattlesnake, or Rattlesnake Jake. Get the gold before he strikes. So this is a game. She's really excited about it. She, when she saw it, her whole face lit up. Oh my gosh, Rattlesnake Jake. I was like, what is Rattlesnake Jake? <laughs> and then of course, I got her some stuff from the thrift store too. This was either $2 or $4. I can't, I don't remember on which day I got this, if red tag was half off or not. It is a tangled dress. Yes, a princess dress official for $2 slash $4 in her size. It's hard to find princess dresses in her size, like at the thrift store. Obviously I can buy it brand new for like $50 or $30, whatever the heck it costs. And sometimes I do, she has a bell dress, brand new. And um, she has some Little Mermaid costumes. Sometimes those costumes are like too much, you know? And she on Friday can wear certain things to school. So I feel like this is more of a wearable dress, if you will. And this was from the thrift store for probably four bucks or $2. And it's like the newer mermaid. She loves them both, so I was, Excited when I found this at the thrift store. Also found these ear mittens, ear muffs, ear, is that what they're called? I don't know. They're kid size and they are unicorn. So I thought right up her alley. She's gonna love those. Play-Doh. Yes, it is a crowd pleaser. I also got some for stocking stuffers. Um, I think this, I don't know if this is from Target or from the thrift store. I feel like I found it at both. She can't go without Play-Doh, okay? That's one of her favorite things to do. And again, an open-ended toy where she can play and create and mold and hopefully put the Play-Doh back in the container with the lid on so she can put it away and then play with it another day. Sometimes we struggle with that. Sometimes we're really good about it. And I feel like she's getting better and better about it, but she loves Play-Doh. Another great idea would be to include accessory kits we have so many Play-Doh accessories that I did not want to buy any Play-Doh accessories. Even if you don't have any accessories, a little mini rolling pin and like cookie cutters that you have in your kitchen, that's all you need. That's all you need to have a good time. Okay, also I found this at the thrift store. I think brand new, these go for like 14, 17 dollars, 18 dollars, something around there. And it is the Barbie, I actually don't know, Barbie Cutie Reveal. 10 surprises inside and a pet. You know what else she likes? LOLs. Did I get her any? Heck yes, I did, sure did. She loves opening all of these, just like exploring all the things and she loves all the teeny tiny little pieces that come with it to accessorize her doll. She loves it all. Not only opening it, after she opens it, she plays with the dolls over and over again. So this is a four pack of the balls. And if you buy one ball, I think it's like $10 at Target. I found these at TJ Maxx, so it's four balls for $25, which is still like $25 for a little pieces of crap. But also there's four in here, so I feel like I'm getting a deal. These are sweeties. So they're like, I don't know, before she's gotten a Hershey's Kiss doll. And I don't know, she's got a couple of them, but hopefully no duplicates in there, right? And then I found this at the thrift store. I thought this would be really fun for her to play in the car because sometimes it gets boring in the car and this was a dollar. So it's basically like matching games. So you, whatever that is, and then you try to find it, matching, memory, all the things. It's a Melissa and Doug toy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Melissa and Doug. And I just thought this would be great for her to play in the car. And then, okay, ooh, more Play-Doh in here. Okay, so, well, 
there's so much in here hold on Ooh, lots of books for her too um something to read something to wear something to do and something to see you know the age-old riddle about getting your kids christmas gifts that's why we get a lot of books for them okay this is two dollars from the thrift store same play-doh kind of different colors same idea um and then i found this at the thrift store oh my gosh i actually found more it's in the trunk i found anna and elsa at the thrift store basically brand new dolls anna and elsa dolls at the thrift store are you kidding me and then i also found ariel no knots in her hair how does that even happen i want to be the type of mom who has her kids play with toys like this and they're not missing any pieces and their hair doesn't look disheveled I can't even make my hair look this nice. I'm just blown away. Anyway, this was either $2 or $4. Unreal. You know what else I got her? Hold on. These were in my closet, hiding away for months and months, and I forgot which ones I got her. So apparently she's, I'm going to either return this or return the tea party set. Oh, they both come with tea parties, but this one has Mrs. Potts. I don't know. I'm going to have to compare and contrast, see which one is better. This it was from Costco, so it was like scream and deal way less than that one I want to say uh, and they go really fast so I got Belle and then I also got Tangled some of her favorites now she's gonna have the whole collection of friends I don't know she's gonna have so much fun Christmas morning playing with all of her dolls I also got the Peppa Pig house as well for two dollars at the thrift store so ours we got from Cracker Barrel for like fifty dollars a couple years ago I feel like maybe she got it for her birthday or something but you can't find them anymore what? It's crazy. And they're so expensive, brand new. Ours got ruined with water. It's a long story, but it got ruined. So I was like, for $2, I can replace it? Amazing. Hey, you know what else I found? She's really into Barbies. I almost got her a few Barbies, but her Barbies are always naked. And I'm like, ah, maybe I should just have bought Barbie clothes. But I found this. I thought she would really enjoy it. She loves walking around with like the princess shoes and the crowns. She loves all the accessories on herself, on her dolls. She's all about it. So I thought she would enjoy this. This is from Mar TJ Maxx, but they sell really similar things on Amazon. This was $13. Yeah, so sometimes this is like Barbie theme. So on Amazon, you can probably find similar deals, but they won't be like Barbie or Disney or whatever, but they're still high heels and they're enjoyable and they come with tiaras and stuff like that. This, ooh, this is something else I found that I got for her and it's all taped up. It's an art set. I thought she would really like it. It's kind of like a caboodle art set. It's got drawers in here. It's taped, so I don't know what's inside the drawers. I'm gonna have to do some cutting with this to see what's inside. But I thought this was a great find from the thrift store. And she loves doing artwork too. Anything with paint, anything with creating. She really just loves everything, right? And then outside chalk, found this from the thrift store for two bucks. Sounds like all the pieces are in there. It's just like, how can you not buy stuff from the thrift store? Save money, save the environment, save, save, save. I also got her a lot of books. So whenever I go to the thrift store, it's like one of the first spots that I stop in. And this book alone probably costs way more than I bought for, I spent on all of these, you know? She obviously loves Frozen, loves Anna Elsa, so we read Anna Elsa books. I need to get a better bookshelf system than what we have going. Also loves Fancy Nancy, that's a great one. Surprisingly, not into the Fancy Nancy costume. No, nope. didn't know that until I bought it for her from Once Upon a Child, which is a kid a consignment store slash thrift store. But this is, oh, I think we have Pajama Day. That's okay, we'll read it again. That's a hardback, so sometimes they're a little different. Dora Adventures, Dora the Explorer. I am Cindy Lou Who. She's really into Cindy Lou Who lately because we've been watching The Grinch, obviously. It's that time of year. So I thought she'd really like this book. Also, a few more Fancy Nancy books. A couple here. Calling All Poets, The Poet Extraordinaire and Explorer Extraordinaire. I love Fancy Nancy. It introduces fancy words, which are basically just bigger words, more intelligent words, greater synonyms. And she is one of my favorites. Not gonna lie, that Fancy Nancy. <clears throat> also, these ABC books. Listen, she's in pre-K three, so she's just turned four years old. She's still learning her letter sounds. And this is a great way to do it with these letter books. And this one is a mermaid themed and she just had a mermaid party. So I think she's going to really be into this. 
still learning how to identify letters, how to write letters. So the letter book is right up her alley. And then I found this one, Do Princesses Wear Hiking Boots? I thought that would be a great page turner. Also Frozen 2 and another Frozen book for her. All the books for Miss Meredith. And that is everything that I got Miss Meredith. I'm actually really impressed that I'm able to get all of this stuff back in here in one tote. Amazing, both my knees just cracked. <laughs> And the last one here is our sweet baby Wolfgang. It's like, what do you get a one-year-old that lives in a house with four siblings and has essentially everything? A ball. <laughs> I actually got a set of three balls for him. He already got into it because obviously he was there when I was sorting toys. He's not the wiser, he doesn't. Out of sight, out of mind, right? I got him a set of three balls. The other two were in the garage in the package. It's just such an awkward package. I didn't want to move it. But um, anyway, while I was doing that, he w he saw the ball and was like, Ugh, freaking out about it. So I took one out for him. He's been playing with this one. And he was the hardest one for me to shop for. We have everything. We, he, what, like what? I don't know. I actually got him some clothes the other day, but he's been wearing them. I'm like, I'm not gonna keep these until Christmas, but I did get this set for him. I mean, is he actually gonna open the gifts or is he just gonna roam around the living room you know, getting into everything. So this was a set that I saw. It's like a, who who's on here? I actually don't know. Oh, Spider-Man, Captain America. I just, a cute little Marvel set. It was $10 from TJ Maxx. It is, what's the point of this hanger? It's not keeping anything together. And then I found a hat. I thought this would be useful. It's Florida. Sun's always out, guns. And so um, having a hat would, would be beneficial. Keeping it on his head, not sure if that will happen, but it's a Nike hat. I also grabbed this from TJ Maxx too, or Marshalls. I don't know how much it was. There's no tag on this. I remember bringing another hat up. I wanna say it was around seven bucks or something. And then this, I don't even know what it is. It's a bath toy and it was a dollar from the thrift store. So I was like, okay, you're coming home with me. Bath time pop-up hatch eggs. He does love the bath. But we have all the toys. We have light up toys. We have all kinds of toys. Actually, I saw someone on Instagram where they do bath time and I'm like, that was the most magical bath time I've ever seen in my life. Part of me is like, add everything to cart. And then another part of me thinks all those bath toys, like I, I can't keep up with it. It's just too much. We have the bath tablets that change the color. So those are really fun if you're looking for something for a bath time toy for someone young. There, I mean, listen, there are so many things that he has that are great toys, would be great gifts, but I'm like, we already have them, you know, that have lasted through the years. Wooden toys are great. Melissa and Doug toys are fantastic. He loves to be outside. It is ingrained in him. I feel like it's ingrained in every child. Oh my gosh, hold on. I also found these, which I totally forgot that I found these. I want to say, oh, TJ Maxx is where they're from. Of course, Nike socks. It's a family affair over here. $8 for six pairs of socks, way cheaper than Avelina socks. I'm just going to say that. So that was a screaming deal. And then I found this from the thrift store. It is a quiet book, which is also another great idea. And they sell like buckle books where you can put buckles together. He's really into that right now. So he's like, what, 13 months old, 14 months? I don't know, I just say he's a year old when people ask. So this is my quiet book. I found this on Amazon after I saw it in the thrift store. So I was like, yes, this is a great, like busy book. Perfect for the car, whatever. You can like learn how to tie shoes and this is a buckle too. And I was surprised to see how much they are. Oh, it's missing a triangle. How much they're selling for this on Amazon. It was like 20 plus dollars for this, but it's a nice little busy book. And I think he'll really enjoy that, but he loves to be outside. So we have this thing like a car that we like push him in and we have those like little step two cars where you like Frank Flintstone it, but he doesn't do that yet to like move the car. And so we just like push him and he has to like lift his feet up and stuff. Anyway, he loves to be outside. Those things are 12 years old and they're still hanging strong, not hanging strong, not really. They're hanging on, but not strong. They look miserable. I can't even explain to you how pathetic they look. A part of me wants to get new ones, just buy new ones. He's probably not gonna play with them for more than six more months. I'm not, I don't wanna spend $75 on this thing that he's gonna play with for six months and then never again, because I'm not gonna have any more kids, you know what I mean? So I'm like, at this point, we're just gonna ride it through. So anyway, all that to say is I found this and I feel like this is a great 
purchase for him to continue to grow into, but can also use right now. So the brand is Cricut. I found this from Marshalls and it's 12 to 24 months. It is like a bicycle kind of thing. I actually, it doesn't say like what it is. It's not a, I would, maybe a balance bike kind of thing. I guess like a more of a tricycle. So I think he would definitely be able to do this on his own. He has like an airplane kind of thing like this upstairs and he does that. Um, so I think he's really going to enjoy this one outdoors. For a little bit, I thought about getting them those like motorized vehicle things and uh those just really creep me out also avelina our oldest last year i feel like well she constantly wants one but i'm too terrified of it it's like those electric scooters i'm just ter i just all i see when i see that is blood broken bones and blood i'm like sorry kid i don't i'm sorry so there's that and then for him he just loves reading i thought well what does wolfgang love other than being outside. Reading, oh, and apparently scissors. <laughs> he always does arts and crafts with the kids, but he gets stuff everywhere. So I got him a bunch of board books. I See You is a good one. Jungle Night, sure. Good Luck Train, just kidding, Good Night. Furry Friends, so this is like a sensory book too. You can kind of feel your furry friends here. My Turn to Learn Opposites, Llama Llama Trick or Treat, the classics. I love you to the moon and back and then Lunar New Year. All the classics for you. We have so many board books obviously through the years, but whenever I see them at the thrift store, I'm like, just pick it up. It's a dollar. You know what I mean? It might be his favorite book. You never know. Anyway, that is everything that I got for Wolfgang too, which rounds off everything that I got all of my kids for Christmas. Huge thanks again for Just Dance for sponsoring me. If you want to check them out, my link will be in the description box below. I think it's one of the best gifts that you can give. It gets them up, gets them moving, it gets the family together, and I can't say enough great things about it, but that is it. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.